Do you want more? More time, more balance, more love, more sex, more money, more real, and less bullshit? This is the Women Wanting More podcast with Dr. Karen Osborne. Real life, real stories, plus real tips to get you more of what you want. So first and foremost, sister, I want to honor you for listening to this episode, for listening to the podcast, for being part of this movement with one wanting more, whether this is your first episode or 201st. We're actually getting close to 300 episodes of the podcast, be hitting a million downloads in about a month, like just amazing, amazing. So first and foremost, thank you, I appreciate you, and I honor you for taking the time to listen and really incorporate this into your, your, for a lot of you, your regular life, daily life. So I want to start with that. And I'm going to share with you something today that I think will be absolutely valuable for you on certainty. Certainty. So I had two situations this morning that pushed at exactly that, certainty. So I am coming off of a two-day group mastermind with two of my amazing clients that I'm working together in a group for the last um, six months. And uh, it was just an amazing experience, like incredible two days, just great things that we went through on that day, great realizations that they had and insights, great action they're taking from that. You know, when you start to work with some of uh, you know, the people that I, the women that I do, my clients, who've been working together for a long period of time, we were, you know, we're able to go deeper and deeper, which is amazing. And we talked about certainty. We talked about certainty, what that means, and how do you become certain. And that'll be for a whole other episode, but I just want to share with you some experiences of what happens at the end of that. So when you become so clear and certain, so as I said to my husband last night again this morning of just like, you know what, I love to coach. I love to do this podcast and speak of my message in this way. I love to put posts up on Facebook and speak the message that way. I love to do Facebook Lives. I love to coach. I love to, you know, even more so. I mean, I love these touches that I can do with you, sister, but to be able to be eyeball to eyeball with somebody or eyeball to eyeball across the screen if we're doing like a group video training um, is, is incredible. I love the opportunity to be able to connect with these women, to have these moments, to have that present time. And you know, it's to me, it's like with the clients that I have the absolute like pleasure and gift to work with, it's like, you know, when you have, you have like coffee with a friend or someone you connect with and it, you know, it's as if time isn't passing, but yet it's, it's almost like it stands still. And then the time is gone before you know it. And you just feel so great afterwards. Like there's a real, it's, it's a, it's a win-win relationship. It's like a cheesy way of explaining, but that's probably what it feels when I work with clients. Like it's just, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. And I know that I'm an incredible fucking coach. And I say that with certainty. I don't say that with ego. I say that with absolute certainty. And within that, there will be people that come into your life with what you do, or for you as a mother, or for you as a wife, or for you and what you're doing for your body and how you're choosing to live your life that are going to question that. And it is certainty that we'll see those things come about. And it's kind of like that annoying little flyer, like, ah, just like, oh, I'd like to shoot, right? Where you're aware that it's there, but it doesn't affect you, right? It doesn't affect you. So I have some women that feel a need to reach out to me and tell me how awful I am or I'm so evil on this thing. It's just, you know, shit that triggers them and like whatever, right? Times I respond back, most I don't. Sometimes I do. It doesn't necessarily come from a place of anger anymore. Sometimes it does. But I just really listen to the voice and I follow when I feel like there's something for them to see in the situation. I do. Majority of time, delete, block, move on. So I had 
someone I responded back to and they responded back again and said, I'm so, you're still so awful and here's why and here's all the data and here's why, you know, it's just, you know, like the, the details of it is irrelevant. However, what I noticed in myself today was receiving that because I, I get them. I get probably three a week, more. It's the average of three a week, maybe none, maybe three, maybe two. Maybe it's, so. Oh, well, there's a new iTunes review. Oh, awesome. I'm, I swear too much. Great. Never heard that one before. <laughs> and what I realized today is receiving the one today is that there was hardly even like a minuscule of like, fuck this bitch, which is where I would have gone in the past. And it was just like the smile on my face of like, sweetheart, number one, I can tell by the way you've written this that you're lying. And number two, like the things you're saying just don't even make sense. Like it's just crazy, right? And number three, it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. My certainty is so solid in how I am as a coach and how I continue to get better and better and better. And I continue to go deeper. I continue to become more. That those things come up and it's the annoying little fly, right? Give me another example. So this morning, walking my son Tyson to school, we had like an awesome walk to school. We got close to school and we were like, the bell was going in about a minute, but we did like the countdown. Like we're like 10, nine, eight, and basically saying, hey, once we get to zero, the bell's gonna ring exactly. And like it did, it was the most, we're like, what? <laughs> we got to zero, then we pointed at the school and the bell rang, we're like, oh my God. Like it was just so fun. And then we got into his classroom and something happened and he's punching his friend, he's just like going crazy. I'm like, what? Kind of bring him aside, try to calm him down, he's not. So what I know, I know my boy. And if he's in that space, I need to just let him go. So, you know, what I'll do is to say, Tyson, Tyson, I love you. Mommy's not tolerating this. Give him a kiss if I can get in or if not, I love you. I will see it pick up and I walk out. And then he yells down the hall at me. I don't even love you. <laughs> awesome, right? Now, you're a parent, you most likely have had a situation like this in the past. It's going to look a little bit different, but you've had one of those, right? As a mother, I could be like, oh my God, what the hell is happening, dude? I'm such a terrible mom. I'm blah, blah, blah. No, I know I'm a fucking incredible mom. I just know that my son at times has challenges managing emotions. He'll be like elated, happy like we were, and there's just like, bah, he'll get like mad in an instant. Like, I get it. I can go there too at times. I can go to anger quickly. He just doesn't have the, the, the adult filter, let's just say, to like, you know, know when it's appropriate, not appropriate. Like he just, he's six, right? Like whatever, and he's boy and... So because I'm certain in how I am as a mother and how I choose to show up and how much I love my children and how much I invest in my kids and how much I work on being a better and better and better mom, that stuff can happen and although I'm walking away, I'm like, oh, God. Awesome, buddy. Glad all the parents heard that one. Fantastic. And I just walk away, and I'm like, I'm certain of how I am as a mom. doesn't matter when those things come up. Are they still difficult? Of course. But I am certain. So when you are certain, which is grounded in knowing what you want, it's grounded in knowing your deep why, sister. And there's more things. I'll be talking more about something that we created the last couple days with my clients, something that just kind of came to me. This is the cool thing of when you're really present with people. Creativity for me and creation of the things that I talk about and ideas and really learning how to teach this to you better and in ways and in stories that really make sense. It happens when I'm in these intensive coaching experiences. And so I created something called the More Equation, which I'll be sharing with you over the next couple weeks. Definitely well at Woman Wanting More Live, which is coming up in three weeks. I'm super stoked about. One day event here in Victoria, BC, Canada. But certainty is a big, 
piece of that more equation, certainty. So here's your more tip for today than sister. I want you to think of one area of your life. Okay, so we've talked about the four, the more pillars, right? And so that's your marriage, it's your business slash work, it's your body, and it's your family. So of those four areas, pick one of them. And what is an area right now where you are not certain? You are uncertain not sure, you don't feel grounded. What is that one area, number one? And number two, what is one action step you can take today that will allow you to begin to build that certainty? One action step today. Today, because if we say tomorrow, next day, in a week, it never happens. Action happens in momentum. Swift action, decisive. I'm doing this right now, turning off the podcast. There I go, I'm doing this thing. I'm taking action immediately. So what is the one action step that you can take to become more certain on that area of your life? So listen, I just mentioned one one to more live, sister. Check this out. Now, as this podcast episode comes out, it'll be 22 days to one one to more live. So if you're listening to this on the first day that this podcast episode airs, it is Saturday, June the 10th, one one to more live, one day event to go through what I teach on the podcast deep, okay? But check this out. I ran women that are like you, traveling from all across US and Canada. I don't think of anyone yet who's outside of North America, but we'll see. So you have the association of the women that are like you, that want and are committed to creating power within their life, within those four more pillars. You can have the, the association and the access to me as a powerful coach really leading this day accountability of being in that room away from family and friends. Amazing shit happens when you remove yourself from your everyday life and you immerse yourself in experience like you will get with one, one, two more live and you're going to leave with an action plan. What you can do to create what you want within your life, sister. This is tactical and strategic. These are principles. I will be honored to be leading all the women that will be here for One One Team We're Live. Again, 22 days from today, Saturday, June 10th in Victoria, B.C. So here's what I want you to do. Get your ticket, sister. I don't have a passport. Go fucking get it. We can create anything we want in life. Who's going to watch the kids? Figure it out. Bring them with you. Can't bring them to the event, but, you know, travel them with them. Someone can watch the kids. Like, make it happen. I've made so many things happen in my life that I didn't have the money for. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I was determined. I was certain. I was certain that I needed to do and wanted to do this thing, and I found a way. And you can too, sister. So if this was resonating with you, now is the time to get your ticket. So I want you to head over to drkarenosbrun.com slash live, and you can grab your ticket. I don't know when next event is. There might not be one. Events? Or a shit ton of work. They're exciting. I love them. They're amazing. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And I don't know if these types of live events are what I'm going to continue to want. I've had women say to me, like, oh, when's the next one? I'm like, seriously, sister? Like, I don't know. I'm not just saying this as, like, to, to force you to come to this one. Like, I like, honestly do not know if there will be another one. I will decide after this one if I will. This may be the first and only of this type of event. So now is your time, sister. So head over to drkarenosbrun.com slash live, L-I-V-E, and you can grab one of the remaining tickets then, and I will see you here in Victoria, B.C. in three weeks. So I will talk to the next episode, sister. A life of more is just one step away from me doing the fucking work every single day. I love and appreciate you. To get the show notes of each Women Wanting More episode, including the How to Get More tip. Subscribe to the newsletter at drkarenosburn.com slash newsletter.